in a declassified memo from 1973 titled Project Chassavoy, The Timekeeper. Morozov described his theory that time wasn't a constant, but a field, a wave that could be bent like light. He wasn't trying to build a time machine. He wanted to build a mirror, something that could reflect time back on itself. The experiments were small. He'd expose radioactive isotopes to magnetic and acoustic fields, hoping to slow their decay. For months, nothing happened. Then, something did. One of the reports, later leaked to a Western journalist, claimed that the rate of decay in a sample of cesium-137 dropped by 0.004%. That's almost nothing, within the margin of error. But Victor didn't see a number. He saw proof. By 1978, his obsession had consumed him. Colleagues recalled that he stopped going home, sleeping in the lab among piles of copper wire and oscilloscopes. He began writing in strange, cyclical notes, words looping back on themselves, like he was documenting from both past and future at once. When asked about it, he said, You can't understand time if you're trapped inside it. And then, one night, he vanished. The lab door was found locked from the inside. His instruments were humming, lights still on, but Morozov was gone. All that remained was a reel of magnetic tape, labeled Phase Test Zero. The tape contained static. But underneath the noise, at around the 13-minute mark, there's a faint, rhythmic pulse. A ticking, but slower. Much slower than a clock should tick.